Developing story overseas, three U.S. Army soldiers killed, more than 40 others wounded after a drone attack in Jordan. But the Pentagon Deputy Press Secretary says they expect that number to fluctuate. We are now learning the names of those soldiers who were killed and where they were from. The names of those soldiers who lost their lives were Sergeant William Rivers, Specialist Kennedy Sanders, and Specialist Breonna Moffitt all of whom were assigned to the 718th Engineer Company, a U.S. Army Reserve unit based out of Fort Moore, Georgia. These three fallen heroes were deployed to Jordan in support of Operation Inherent Resolve and the International Coalition working to ensure the lasting defeat of ISIS. That drone was reportedly mistaken for a U.S. drone. President Biden is reportedly considering strikes within Iran following that attack in Jordan. Iran says regional resistance groups do not take orders from Tehran. Members of the Arizona National Guard were in that area of the drone strike. We're told at least some of them are among those injured. Ben Brown with our ABC 15 political team reports on the critical role Arizona has played in that region. 7,000 miles may separate Jordan from Arizona, but for loved ones of National Guard members, it's just a heartbeat away. The Arizona National Guard, there are 8,500 men and women that are your neighbors, they're school teachers, they're, they're factory workers, they work at your media company. Retired Major General Mick McGuire headed up Arizona's National Guard for nearly a decade. One of the big areas that we have as a specialty in Arizona is in what would be called a, a, a logistics kind of operation. Think about all the sustainment, fuel truck drivers, heavy equipment operators, movement of all the pallets of gear that would need to be there. Arizona National Guardsmen were deployed in September of last year in support of Operation Spartan Shield. The mission, provide law and order and personal security capabilities. We've had soldiers there continuously uh, pretty much since 2001. Um, when we withdrew most of the combat arms forces, there is still a logistics tail there that supports other activities in the region. The exact number of Arizona National Guard members injured is unclear, but the drone strike is the first to result in the death of American soldiers since the Israel-Hamas war began. <laughs> President Biden blaming Iran-backed militias. I think there will be some sort of retaliatory strike. Um, it's going to be more forceful than in the past because Americans were killed in this incident. Since the start of the Israel-Hamas war, American military installations have faced more than 150 attacks. And a big concern is the growing alliance with U.S. adversaries. Truth of the matter is our adversaries are increasingly cooperating with one another, be it through weaponry, support, diplomatic support and the like. For the ABC 15 political team, I'm Ben Brown.